This is my little gnome garden, as I call it. It, um, it's my little space out here. Or rather, one of my little spaces, which I really, really like. I am trying to identify my plants. I'm gonna write down what they are so that you guys can see and I can learn. You see this here? I just found out how cool they look when you transplant them and take off all their pups. So that's what I'll be doing. Now from here this way, there's lots of improvement to be done. And I'll be telling you and asking you about the improvements and what you think I should do. This is my beautiful ponytail palm. And again, I say I've had it since that big bulb was the size of the palm of my hand. But this little area in here, uh, more orchids are gonna go in here. And then we transfer. Here is my little frog garden, as I call it, with my snake plants and some succulents. They've already closed for the day. And Chihuahua break! Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente. Con una pasión, con una pasión tan fuerte. Ay, 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 ay. Ahora sigo cantando y sigo gozando. Yo sigo cantando y sigo gozando. my mandeville the sky that's about to rain it's a mandevilla that's what it's called and my neighbor's crepe myrtle which i have two tiny crepe myrtles these are my lilies i've been told not to sing repeatedly but i break out in a song i just don't have the voice for it these are my lilies as well. Todd gave me this one. And Maria Elena from Puerto Rico, which I met through Pals, gave me that one. These are plumbagos. And this part of my yard, I am about to change up. I just put my corner plant that I had in the gnome garden. I put one here and one on the other side, but that divider and that fence, I no longer want there. The reason for the fence is because I don't like my dogs back here. And my bromeliads that I got from a neighbor that I just stopped and knocked on her door and asked if I can have one. And she very graciously said yes. Back here I'll be changing. This is the yucky part of my yard, which I call the woodlands. So I'm going to be putting more artificial grass like I have here and the reason for it is because I'm old I cannot cut the grass and my chihuahuas do not get dirty and so I want to add it to here but the part under the tree and around 
all the way around the tree. I want to incorporate all my fairy garden, which I took off from its original spot. And I want to put all the little fairy houses here. And I think that right here, in this little area right there, I can fit a fairy door, which would be fine. The fairies would come in and out of there with no problem whatsoever and they would enjoy their new home. Of course, they'll let me know if they enjoy it or not. So, I think that would be perfect. Yeah, you see what vines do? Be careful when you buy vines. It destroyed my old fence. It destroyed my yard. I have everything in pots because you can't even make a hole in my yard. So, anyway, I just thought I'd record this before I start working back here. And I did want to identify some plants. This is one I want identified. And of course, my big corner plant my red and white one that I think, well, red, white, and green, I think it's in the ginger family. And here you have my little Lulu. She's the oldest girl and a mosquito trying to bite her. She is my oldest girl. She's a whole seven years old, and I want to get out of here because the mosquitoes are already out. But she's my Lulu! And my big girl, that's my lolly girl. That's my jelly bean. And you see how Finny's got her necklace? She'll get her necklace and just completely take it off. But ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we need to get out of here because the sun is going down and it's about to rain and the mosquitoes are out signing off from tampa florida it's libby and her chihuahuas